What is going on guys, DBG here and today is another episode of the No Money Spend Squad in NBA 2K22, my team lads. So, right here, which ball is your favorite? Mummy ball, Jack Lantern, screw it, Halloween eyeball, give me our one token. But um, yeah, so basically, this is what we have right here. We've got a quite decent squad. Earlier today, you guys saw we bought Eric Snow. We managed to buy Eric Snow for the team. So let's take a look at what price some of these other cards are because it all depends on the price whether or not I'm going to pick some of these up. The 20th anniversary, or John Havlicek. Havlicek's kind of cheap. Not kind of cheap. Havlicek's really cheap. Oh my god. What's Deer up? 700k. All right, I guess. Trey, in and around the 100. Clay, 220K. I mean, he's good, he's not worth that much. Kembe, probably around 200. Yeah, some of these guys are not worth that much. Like, funnily enough, like, dude, Eric Snows is literally as good. He's literally as good as uh, Trey Young, it's hilarious. I have a... Uh, I have Eric Snow, I've used him, I've used Trey Young. They're all good, like they're all decent players in their own right. They are all decent players in their own right, but um, Eric Snow is just, he's hes fantastic. He's absolutely fantastic. So what are cards coming out in Flash today? So we have got Ha Sung Jin, Glenn Dice, and I'm, I'm guessing Havlicek is affordable. See, what price is this D-Rob? Yeah, like a 300... Like, he could genuinely be 200k cheaper. He's also seems to be less rare. But he could be 200k cheaper. I say more, more rare. But at 200k cheaper, he's worth it. What price is Ha Sung Jin? He was on for like two less than 2k earlier. Like, I don't think he's this great investment. Um, SEU, I'm guessing. Sunjin, huh? I'm not sure which name comes first. Korea? Okay, 1300. Is that really the cheapest one? Am I gonna get another user on this? Yeah, I got another user. Alright, 1500 for him. I'm cool with that. I'd rather be a bit cheaper, but I'm completely fine with that. So, have a check. I might buy Havlicek just for the lulls. A lot of ha hey Jays. Havlicek. I think Havlicek might literally be like. If he's like 6 or 7k, I think he actually goes down to like 4k or something at the end of the next week. So I'm not that fussed on getting John Havlicek. But like Havlicek at 7k is a, is a shout. Like he's not bad. Like, getting the dude at 6,000 MT, like, he drops to, like, three, two, three k I really couldn't care less. Like, losing, like, 4 or 5k on a card, that's probably not going to go down much. Like, Hondo for 6k. Like, he's nice. 5,750 for Hondo. Uh, I'll take the 50 contacts for two games. I think that's worth it. And then, we need Glenn Rice as well. We need to try him out. Or Glenn Dice, as the uh, poorly translated um, name was. So. Dude, less than five. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Amethyst are guaranteed. Amethyst are guaranteed in uh, boxes. Forgot about that. The toppers are guaranteed minimum Amethyst. So he these guys are going to be kind of cheap. I forgot about that. There were no Amethyst glitched, were there? So you're paying like four nine fifty. That's fine. That's worth it. That's worth just even to give him a go. It's worth that price. Okay, four nine fifty. Um, outbid four four fifty on a Havla check. So we bought these three guys. Add the collection. Add the collection, and add Ha Sung Jin to the collection. Probably gonna make a video of Sung uh, Ha Sung or Sung Jin Ha for um. For tomorrow, because it's a nice quick gameplay that I can make. 
Just that, just the, a 7-3 giant. So premium. What was I even looking at checking? Um, let's throw him into the old test lineup here. See how to get on. Test lineup should always just be all golds. All golds, their whole purpose is to just be there if needed. Why is Danny Manning power forward slash center? There we go. This is not my higher rate of players going to be in. So, Ha is a ruby center. Then, what's the other player? Glenn's a small forward, I think, that can play it too. And there's Hondo's the same. So yeah, these three guys right here. So like, huh? Can um, he can kind of shoot the ball. He can kind of move. He blocks shots really well, and he's a giant. He's seven three, three hundred pounds. He is a gigantic, gigantic player. But Hondo and Glenn, Hondo ninety, uh, mid 88 three. 86 ball handle. Good defense. Solid speed. Really good lateral. Like. Hondo's not a bad card. It's just everyone gassed him, was gassing him up because they thought he was going to be like Hondo from last year, which he was never going to be. Havlicek is really good. Like, Half Hustler is a good badge. He's got like gold catch and shoot, gold corner specials, gold glue hands, gold pickpocket, gold pick dodger, gold clamps, gold interceptor, gold pogo. He's got gold blinders, gold clutch shooter, dead eye, sniper, stop and pop, ankle braces, lucky seven, circus threes on silver. And he's got a bunch of really good silver badges. So, like, Hondo, there's nothing bad about on Havlicek at all there really is not anything bad at all about him and then Glenn Rice 93 three pointer 87 mid range he's got 79 ball handle 69 steel so his defense is kind of non-existent but he's 6'7 so he's got decent height and he does shoot the ball that little bit better than a Hondo because if you look at his badges he gets half corner specials goal catch and shoot he gets like goal limitless range goal sniper so He's got Silver Chef as well, so he could be a really, really nice player. He's another one that actually I can use in Limited. I don't think I'm going to use him in Limited. Unless I feel really comfortable with him. But yeah, Hondo's definitely coming in here. Hondo's coming coming in this position here. I might end up using. I don't have any really good Diamond Eastern Conference players. Screw it, we might as well just try out Hondo. It's like Hondo... That's fundamental. Hondo's release is still really good. Like, because like it's so funny. Everyone's like, "Oh yeah, at the start of the year, oh yeah, Cliff Hagen was chicken," and everyone's been talking, "Oh yeah, Gus Will or Gus Gerard is so chicken." It's like, I'm like, dude, Hondo's literally got the exact same release as those guys, and people were all complaining about him. Hondo's actually a pretty good defender as well. Three ball of 88 is high. Um, defensively, he's pretty good, and again, he is a. Uh, He's Havlicek. He's he's basically the Havlicek pink diamond from last year. Except instead of him being 100 KMT, he's 5 KMT. So yeah, Hondo going to dunk the ball relatively well. Or so you're not going to dunk the ball. Going to shoot the ball relatively well. Let's see what his dribbling's like. Uh, it's slow. It's slow. At least he looks like he gets safe dunks. Which is a pretty good thing. That is a really, really good thing for Hondo. It looks like he gets safe dunks. So that's green one. And now let's give a give Glenn Dice a go. I'm gonna give Glenn Rice a a little chance right here. See how in gen how he gets on because he might get on okay. He might end up getting on fairly fairly badly. So it all really depends with the Glenn Rice with his release. It's like if you are absolutely chicken with Glenn Rice because he's six seven and he can shoot from deep. You can use him like he's a what don't they have a coach? You can use him like he's like a modern day. Um, God, I'm struggling to think of the name. Um, Duncan Robinson. You can play him like that. I don't like it. Just saying, putting it out there right now. It's the uh, Danny Green release. Not bad though. You know, like Green three in a row. Okay. Maybe we can get into a bit of a rhythm with this. I don't think so. I didn't like this release last year at all. It's, it, like, it's cool. It's fine off the catch. But it's like, anytime you add a little bit of dribble into that, I cannot use it. And he's also not a great dribbler either. But like, trying to shoot with that off the dribble, it just, it just feels awkward for me. 
And again, thankfully, off the catch, you can shoot from pretty much anywhere. It's not a bad release by any means off the catch. It is a uh, a really, really solid release off the catch. Okay, step back. I don't mind them. I don't mind that. Like, his movement seems okay. It's just that we... I just don't like that release. He just chucks it behind his head. I don't know what it is with the release. It's I didn't like it last year on Larry Johnson, but I loved it in like 2K19 on Larry Johnson. I've hated it on everybody since. I didn't like it on Glenn himself last year. This Glenn kind of reminds me of a nerfed or a, a kind of like down... Um, well, his diamond came out in like January. He's pretty good in January. It reminds me of like a similar level player to his diamond, just that obviously I had a completely different time of the year, so he doesn't have Hall of Fame range. And I'm pretty sure he came with Hall of Fame blinders in that card. But again, I'm pretty sure he can hit fades at an elite rate, which is good. If he gets that little bit of space, he's going to hit. And, I mean, it does not seem like a bad card. Offensively, he seems like he's more than more than capable of holding his own. Like if you are running him, and he's just there to catch and shoot, he does it well. I'm just a little bit worried. I think Havlicek's probably better. Purity because Hondo's defense is that little bit better. So anyway, now we're going to agree on three. There we go. Now I am going to uh, I'm going to get on to a game right here. We can see how we get on. I'm gonna go and play a game of TTO to 100. We are 81 and 18. We have still not seen. We have played. We've gone off the board 10 times. We have gone up the board a grand total of 10 times. We've still not seen. We've still not seen um, the man himself. You've not seen the myth. The myth that is uh, Paul Silas. Like, Paul Silas would straight up walk right into my team starting power forward. Like, I still got miles in my team. Like, Paul Silas would walk into... He would walk into my team, but unfortunately, the big part about having... Being able to use Paul Silas is actually having Paul Silas, and if you don't have Paul Silas, unfortunately, you're not really going to be able to... Uh, To use Paul Silas, or if you don't have me, you're not going to be able to use him. So funny, people think I'm actually planning on selling my DeAndre Ayton. DeAndre Ayton is going to the moon in a few weeks. I have three of them, and people actually, people actually are like, "Oh, I must have bought 50 Eric Snows." Like, no, I didn't buy 50 Eric Snows. I just made a video on Eric Snow because he's insane. Double down. We're good. We're there. Good stand. Oh, it's, it's me, it's me. Oh, thought we were there. It's fine. Hondo, that's you. Pull back. Can Hondo hit that? Has to be your board eight. Come on. Unlucky. We're there. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. It's your... Oh, my players just got switched into a weird position. Corner. Nope. He was there with Miles Turner. Give me that. Yeah, Hondo. Yeah, Hondo, good shot. Okay, come on. We can clamp up here. Oh, wow. Got him. He's just going to side side me. We have him, we have him. Hondo can guard him. He's going to go corner, surely. That's a terrible shot. Oh my god, that ball landed into his hands. Anywhere else on the floor, it landed into one of my players' hands. But they literally bounced directly at a weird angle into one of his players' hands. No, game's rigged. Game's rigged. Let's go, Hondo. Can't walk back, unfortunately, in this game anymore. Is he going to leave me wide open? If he's going to leave me wide open with Aiden, I'm going to shoot with Aiden. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop and see what happens. Okay, and he fell at 1.5 to go. There was no point in that. I was going nowhere. I was going absolutely nowhere with that. Oh, it's green. Oh, he got there in time. Big board. Come on. Come on, DeAndre. 
What? I'm not very good at paint mashing. That is one thing I've learned. I'm not very good at paint mashing. People are a lot better at me than me at that one specific thing. Anytime I try to paint match, that happens. I lose the ball. Okay. We're good. Give me that. Terrible release. Should not have been 6% though. Yeah, I'm just being outplayed here. I'm just straight up being outplayed. Good defense. Run, run, run. Corner. Got him. Got him. Got him. I'm one. It's fine. He's on three team fouls. Like we've just missed we've missed a lot of chances. Like this game's not over. Like we are getting stops. Normally when I get stops, I win. But uh, this is one of those rare times when I'm getting stops and I'm not. Oh yeah, dunk that. Or missed the life, that works as well. Good pass. There we go. Glenn Rice there with a standing dunk that I did not expect. Okay, this game's kind of hectic right now. Oh, I'm so idiot. Like, can I just stop doing dumb things? I keep doing that on defense. I keep playing sweet spots like I'm playing on current gen. I keep trying to play defense like I'm on current gen, knowing that my players don't move like that on next gen. I literally, how do I shoot a full with Glenn Rice? It's green. Oh my God. Glenn, you've got gold sniper. You're not meant to shoot fulls. It's yours. Can you stop fouling? You've won the game, man. You're up 15 to four. There we go. Good job, Aiden. Fifteen six, essentially over. Not quite. I mean, the fact that the Andre Aiden, like AI, the Andre Aiden did not go for a chase down block there was a bad sign. Got him. Nope. Run to the basket. He is really pressuring me hard. Nope. Green that. Oh my god! He's just the best. He's just better than me. He's getting contested. I don't know how he's getting. He's genuinely just better than me. Like he fought he somehow fought through a screen and shoved my own player into my own player. Like I don't know how the hell he did that in that last possession. And he is just his AI is just destroying my AI. He's just better than me. It is what it is. He's just better than me. I genuinely am asked this game, by the way. I'm not. I'm not making this up. Like, I'm legitimately becoming... Every every day, I think I'm getting progressively worse at this game. Like, I'm losing... I'm just losing the... When you don't want to play and you start switching off, you're never going to be good. And it's like, maybe if I lock in, I'll be all right. But I just... I, I don't find this game enjoyable. So I'm like this. It's hard to. It's very, very hard to lock in on a game that's not necessarily fun. To me, anyway, it's not fun. Easy board. Nice dunk there, Aiden. Come on, Aiden. You are down 19 to 10. We are about to lose. Why are you celebrating? Nice, unlucky. Let's go, Aiden. Nah. I missed. Wow. Where are you going, you actual idiot, Glenn Rice? You ha you were wide open at three point line. And you stepped in and let him sweet spot you, and we blocked the ball. Of course, we blocked the ball right into his player's hands. Of course, we blocked the ball right into his player's hands. Oh my god, this game! Like I didn't lose that game because like he was better than me, but like you can just see the frustration. It's just not. This is just game is just not fun. Whether it be five on five, three on three is more fun. I will be the first to say that playing three on three is more fun. This game is not fun. It's just not. It is just not fun at all. And like that's the reason why someone like Ty is so dangerous and com competitive compared to other guys. Like he will genuinely tell you that like 
if you get good, if you get in any, even my level of playing, it, the game's not fun because you just get pissed off at something in every game. You get pissed off that a bad animation triggers. And that's like, and that's like the aim of the game. It's all just about triggering animations. You make a bad read, you switch off for a split second on defense and suddenly, bam, someone's dotted the corner. Everyone's so good at this game now that you literally have to headband on, be ready to play as hard as you can and focus or else you lose. And that's any game, whether it be three on three or five v five, you can't. Unless you are best of the best, you can't kick your feet up and play this game anymore. Like you are, it's, it's so difficult. That's the thing, like you can play a thousand hours of this game and you're only playing against other dudes that have played a thousand hours. There's no reason to get better. SPMM means there's no reason to get better. Like I would be having more fun if I was all, if I was absolutely garbage at this game and I only played against guys that were garbage. I would be having a lot more fun if I did that. I can guarantee you. Come on, what's he doing? He's dribbling like me, and that's not a good sign. He is just trying to quick first step, left, right, shifty on me. He's literally just left, right me. Whatever. Good defense, Mick. I can cover the left, right, shifty. I can cover the left, right, shifty. I'm. I should. Well, if I can't cover the left, right, shifty, I'm gonna. I'm just ass. There we go. Back down, back down, back down. Do not get stripped. Good, Aiden, come on. That's what we needed. We just cannot afford to get stripped in that situation. They stick on him and drop. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Ah, oh, that was a steal, come on. That's fine. Just get my sweet spot. Just get in the sweet spot, don't overcommit. And I overcommitted. There we go. Hondo in the corner for three. Man, I really can't agree with Hondo, can I? Okay, we're good. Bad defense. Screw it. It's a terrible shot. He smacked the white with a dude with no shooting badges. Come on, 2K. From the wing as well, not even a corner white. Where are you going, Honda? All you're doing is just running into a bad position every possession. Like just everybody stay on the perimeter. If you stay, we score. You stay, we score. No, we don't because we just got stripped. That's good. I just, I just don't even care. I just don't even care anymore. You set the screen. He's hard off balling there, so we should have him switch glitch, getting a wide open shot, but ML Car can fight over every screen because he's ML Car and DeAndre Aiden, at least he's acting like DeAndre Aiden. Come on. You got me. There we go. There we go. He can he cannot guard DeAndre Aiden. He genuinely cannot guard Aiden. Get out of my way. Spin him. Come on. Got him. Dream shaked. Oh my god, Aiden, you were there. Dude, shoot the ball, please. With him, please shoot the ball. Glenn Rice is the worst. Is so bad on defense. And he got screwed there. He should have made that layup. Glenn Rice is so bad on defense. He's passing. It's me. Oh. Nah, he's not expecting me to pull up for that one now, is he? Good shot there by Aiden. We are struggling badly with the two new guys, but... I mean, at least, uh... At least Hondo's playing defense. Like, he is just trying to left-right me and take layups with Jason Terry, which is... I mean, for a lack of a better way of describing it, is an interesting tactic. It's a bold move. It's a very, very bold move. Hey, we're all good. Oh my, he got me in an ankle breaker. 
or a space creator animation, one or the other. Either way, doesn't matter for whether it was an anchor breaker or a space creator, same thing happens in both. Dunk. Do not. Do not get stripped again. Good, Aiden, come on. I'm there. There we go. Good defense. Eight in your ball. <sighs> Apparently not. He fared a long shot, long rebound. It happens. He's literally, he's going for the jet. He's going for the jet. He's going for the jet. We're there. Good. Good job, Aiden. Run. Run. Shooter corner. Wide open. My God, I can't green with either of these guys. The only player I've green with in this game is DeAndre Aiden. Oh, no. I gotta on-ball this. And, I mean, it almost worked. It almost worked, but we ended up fouling. Come on. Top corner. Oh, that should have been me. Give me that. Big board. Top corner. Green, come on. Check, man. Let's go. Finally green with Glenn Rice. All right, 19 days. This is the lead right here. Throw corner, throw. He went wing. Good move. What? What? That just happened. That just happened. Oh my god, that's a three. This game. This game, it's just, it just brings out anger. It really just brings out anger. There's no other emotion really just triggered playing this game than anger. You know what? That's not bad. That's fine. That's a good block. He deserves it. I'm not even angry at that, Green. Good shot. It was the fact that the ball literally hit my player and has landed back in his hands. So let's just run to the basket with Aiton. He's not fast enough. Apparently he is, and Aiton just slows down to a halt. On the plate, Green. Oh my god, Aiton. That's you. Do not get stripped. Do not get stripped. Do not get stripped. Thank you, DeAndre. Wow. 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 You can just see all my energy has been sapped from this game. Like, it is just half the time you are just praying that you don't get that you don't get hit with a bad animation. Like, I get it. Like, when you get when someone else gets screwed, you're probably less likely to think it's a bad animation. But still, it just happens every possession. Every single possession, something happens on the floor that shouldn't happen on the floor. It's just annoying. But yeah, these guys are so average. They are so average. However, Eric Snow's God. Like, you'll see it in the... You've probably seen it in the last two videos. Eric Snow is insane. He's absolutely insane. It's just a pity the other ones are so average. Clay's obviously brilliant. D-Rob's brilliant. And Eric Snow's brilliant. This was really a three-man session. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.